Today we're going to talk about 5 awesome lens effects that you can create with items just laying around your house. So let's get into it. Now the first household item that I grabbed was some parchment paper or wax paper, whatever you'd like to call it. Basically this is just used so things don't stick to your pans while you're baking. Alternatively, in terms of lens effects, this acts as a great diffusion and also can add this sort of cool white ambient glow to our photo. So what I did is I grabbed the parchment paper and I just roughly ripped a small chunk off and then split it into two pieces, one for either side of my lens. Once you've cut out those two pieces of parchment paper, you're going to want to tape them onto your lens or your lens hood. Since I don't want anything contacting my actual lens, I'm going to be using my lens hood for pretty much all of the effects in this video. Now just with a few pieces of tape, I stuck the parchment paper on either side of the lens hood so it will cover the outsides of our frame, but leaves a nice open gap in the middle for our lens to see through. Now the nice part about attaching it to a lens hood is you can rotate this gap wherever you want just by turning the lens hood. This really helped me to dial in the perfect spot that I needed in order to get the shot I was looking for. Now the next effect that I went and tried out is using some clear tape and some felt markers. Just by putting some clear tape over the ends of our lens hood, once again only taping the sides so we're leaving a gap in the middle for our lens to see through so our image will stay sharp in those certain areas. I then grabbed my felt markers and I just colored all over that clear tape just to give it a bit of a color cast to it. The two colors that I tried were orange and blue and they really gave this sort of funky effect that is definitely unique and I thought it kind of gave a cool look to the images that we took. I found this to be a really cool lens effect just with a couple items found in the drunk drawer of my house. The next household item was saran wrap, cling wrap, whatever you want to call it. It's that clear plastic wrap that sticks to absolutely everything, especially itself. Basically for this effect, I just took a square of saran wrap, enough to cover the lens and then some. Once I cover the lens, I don't want it to completely obstruct my photo, so that's why I poke a hole in the center of the saran wrap. That's where I can position my subject's face. Once you've wrapped your saran wrap around, you could either tape it or, in my case, I just held it and I would crumple it up in certain areas, so then I would get these really cool light catches in different parts of my photo. The next effect that I used was I just went straight to my cupboard and I grabbed a glass cup. Now the way I positioned the cup is I literally just put the mouth of the cup around my lens hood and I just positioned it around to catch a little bit of the light and distort some of that background around my subject. This cup added a really cool effect that I was definitely into. Now the final lens effect that I ended up using was my cell phone screen. Now you can do this with any cell phone screen, it does not matter, but all you do is you hold up the cell phone screen and you just play around and tilt the angle of the cell phone screen until you get a nice reflection or light kick on the screen that shows up in the photo. Now for this effect I ended up taking off the lens hood because I want my phone screen to be as close to my lens as possible so I'm not actually making out any detail of a cell phone. Now if you enjoyed today's video then make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference and also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more videos just like this one. Now if you're still thirsty for more photo related content then make sure to check out my blog at bewellcreative.com where you can find an endless sea of creative content waiting to be learned from. Again my name is Brendan from bewellcreative.com, I'll catch you back here next time, see you then.